Hello guys, this is Cyber and these are tips and hints to help you win at the 4 Survivors mode in Umbrella Corp. 4 Survivors mode is a new PvP mode with new rules. It is a 4 player free for all type match. And in typical Resident Evil style you have limited resources. You start without a zombie jammer or a primary weapon. You'll only start out with a secondary equipped with a flashlight, grenades and a combat knife. Your secondary only has one clip of ammo and aiming down sights will turn on the flashlight. And since you do not have the brainer, you can't climb walls. The combat knife does use the same mechanics and controls as the brainer, and the kill animations are very cool. To win at 4 Survivors, you have to have the highest score when the time runs out. You gain one point for every second you're alive. When you are killed, you drop all of your points you had on you and your score resets. Points dropped can be picked up by you or other players. Points picked up are then added to that player's current point total. The idea here is to stay alive longer than the other players. You can either hunt other players and steal their points or you can hide and try to outlive everyone else. Either way, remember that you do not have a zombie jammer. This means that the infected will be after you as well. In this mode, your health does not regenerate automatically. You will have to heal yourself using green herbs. You can find them in various places around the map or as a random drop from killing an infected. Every minute supplies are dropped on the map. The location of these supplies can be seen on the screen and on the minimap sound radar as an icon of the classic Resident Evil item box. These supply drops are either ink ribbons, a prototype zombie jammer, or a weapon. Ink ribbons are a valuable tool in 4 survivors. On your screen and the minimap you will see the icon of the classic Resident Evil item, the typewriter. As in all the other Resident Evil games, this typewriter is used to save your progress. In this case, your progress is your current survival score. Saving will place your current score in the parenthesis. This means that when you die, your score will reset to the save score in the parenthesis, and the points you drop will be the difference between your current score and your save score. In order to use the typewriter, you have to pick up an ink ribbon. If you picked up one, the ink ribbon icon will show up in the bottom right hand side of the screen below your weapon information. Be careful when using the typewriter because it takes approximately 5 seconds for the process to complete. This is long enough for an infected or other players to kill you and steal your points. The prototype zombie jammer keeps the infected from noticing you making it easier to hide from or hunt other players. The jammer stays active for one minute. Some of these supply drops are weapons. You can also find weapons scattered throughout the map. Some of these weapons are primaries so keep your eyes open for them. As always, thank you for listening. I hope this guide has been helpful. And if you want to hear more like this, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Thank you again. This has been Cyber.